Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be making a Japanese cheesecake. So what I've done is I've started to heat up a bowl of water and then on top of the water I just put a bowl that can handle the heat. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding in my first ingredients. So we're going to start off with some butter. And we're going to add some cream cheese. And I'm going to be adding in some almond milk. And then I'm going to heat those up and making sure that we can break them down to a liquid base. So once we have our cream cheese and the butter and the almond milk broken down and it, it becomes more of a liquid base, we're still taking out the, um, the chunks of cream cheese as the as it heats up. So once it's all consistent with the texture, we're gonna turn our heat off and then add in our egg yolks. I'm gonna take the cream cheese with the butter and the dairy off the heat. And I'm now gonna add in my egg yolk. So I have some egg yolk here. And I'm just going to quickly mix that in with the cream cheese and the butter. Once I have that consistent throughout the whole ingredients that it's nicely mixed, I'm going to add in my sugar. I mix that around. Then I'm going to add in my flour and again mix that up. So as we add in each ingredient you want to consistently mix it up so that it's nicely fully blended and that it's consistent throughout the whole batter of this cheesecake. So now we have we have the cheesecake portion fully mixed up. We're going to set this aside and we're going to mix our egg whites in with our sugar. So now that we have our cream cheese mixture nice and smooth, we're ready to mix in our other ingredients. So in a mixer, you can either use a hand mixer, I'm just gonna use a large mixer. I put some egg white and some sugar, and I'm just gonna mix it until it can get really fluffy. Once I have the batter of the egg whites with the sugar nicely mixed into a fluffy base. I'm going to take it off of the mixer and then I'm going to add it in to my cream cheese mix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the heat off of that and I'm going to, so the texture of that should be like a, like a whipped cream kind of texture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it into my cream cheese mix. So we just have the, I'm just going to fold it in, consistently fold it in until it's nicely mixed. And then once we have all the ingredients blended in, I have prepared a baking pan, so just a, I lined it with some paper there, so, and then I have another dish below it where I'm going to put some boiling water just on the side and then I'm going to bake it in the oven. We're ready to start putting it into our pan. So we're just going to pour it into the pan. 
evenly, making sure that it's balanced throughout the whole dish. Alright, so now we have that in its pan. Just want to make sure it has a nice balance. And then now we have our pan that's below it and we're just going to add some boiling water. And then we're going to put it into the oven and then once it's ready we'll show you what the results are. So my Japanese cheesecake has been cooking in the oven for about a half an hour and I'm going to check on it to see if it's ready. So the top of the cheesecake is nice and crisp and it's very spongy as we touch it. So once we cool it down, we'll be able to take it out of the mold and serve. If you like this recipe and you want to see more like this, please subscribe to our channel. Hit that share, like, and that bell notification.